Genesis chapter 45. Then Yosef could not control himself before all those who stood by him. He cried, Make everyone go out from me. So no one stayed with him when Yosef made himself known to his brothers. And he wept aloud, so that the Mitzrites heard it, and the household of Pharaoh heard it. And Yosef said to his brothers, I am Yosef. Is my father still alive? But his brothers could not answer him, for they were dismayed at his presence. So Yosef said to his brothers, Come near to me, please. And they came near, and he said, I am your brother Yosef, whom you sold into Mitzrayim. And now do not be distressed or angry with yourselves because you sold me here, for Elohim sent me before you to preserve life. For the famine has been in the land these two years, and there are yet five years in which there will be neither plowing nor harvest. And Elohim sent me before you to preserve for you a remnant on earth, and to keep alive for you many survivors. So it was not you who sent me here, but Elohim. He has made me a father to Pharaoh, and a master of all his house, and a ruler over all the land of Mitzrayim. Hurry and go up to my father and say to him, Thus says your son, Yosef, Elohim has made me master of all Mitzrayim. Come down to me, do not tarry. You shall dwell in the land of Goshen, and you shall be near me, you and your children and your children's children, and your flocks, your herds, and all that you have. There I will provide for you, for there are yet five years of famine to come, so that you and your household and all that you have do not come to poverty. And now your eyes see, and the eyes of my brother Benjamin see, that it is my mouth that speaks to you. You must tell my father of all my honor in Mitzrayim, and of all that you have seen. Hurry and bring my father down here. Then he fell upon his brother Benjamin's neck and wept, and Benjamin wept upon his neck, and he kissed all his brothers and wept upon them. After that, his brothers talked with him. When the report was heard in Pharaoh's house, Yosef's brothers have come. It pleased Pharaoh and his servants. And Pharaoh said to Yosef, Say to your brothers, Do this, load your beasts and go back to the land of Canaan, and take your father and your households, and come to me, and I will give you the best of the land of Mitzrayim, and you shall eat the fat of the land. And you, Yosef, are commanded to say, Do this, take wagons from the land of Mitzrayim for your little ones and for your wives, and bring your father, and come. Have no concern for your goods, for the best of all the land of Mitzrayim is yours. The sons of Yisrael did so, and Yosef gave them wagons according to the command of Pharaoh, and gave them provisions for the journey. To each and all of them he gave a change of clothes, but to Benjamin he gave three hundred shekels of silver and five changes of clothes. To his father he sent as follows, ten donkeys loaded with the good things of Mitzrayim, and ten female donkeys loaded with grain, bread, and provision for his father on the journey. Then he sent his brothers away, and as they departed, he said to them, Do not quarrel on the way. So they went up out of Mitzrayim, and came to the land of Canaan to their father Yaakov. And they told him, Yosef is still alive, and he is ruler over all the land of Mitzrayim. And his heart became numb, for he did not believe them. But when they told him all the words of Yosef, which he had said to them, and when he saw the wagons that Yosef had sent to carry him, the Ruach of their father Yaakov revived. And Yisrael said, It is enough. Yosef, my son, is still alive. I will go and see him before I die. Amen.